You can also start imaging smaller objects like mm -hmm. sarcophagi or mm -hmm. like statues, things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, you just stick that right in front of your muon detector. Uh, basic idea is in order to make muons, usually you need like extremely large particle accelerators. Okay. These guys are have done it in effectively the size of like a lab, maybe a big lab, a big lab, but it's still not like, you know, the size of CERN or right. like Slack where it's like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of meters worth of stuff to create a muon beam. And that becomes really, really relevant if you're trying to use muons to do CAT scans on very large things. For example, the pyramids or a volcano. Um, Real-time volcanology is something that we talked about. You can do near real-time observation of density changes like magma movement, gas pressure, lava plugs. There's also national security okay. and infrastructure, something I thought you would like. Yeah. So the, the speed of the, this muon tomography would be such that now we can scan cargo at the ports without opening the box, mm -hmm. right? Because you can't do that with x-rays. The, the metal is too thick, mm -hmm. right? But you could just stick a muon thing and then it's gonna, so routine inspection of these shipping containers can happen in minutes now, you know? Yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So then you don't have to trust the shipping manifest. You can literally be like, okay, is there something there? I, if there's any nuclear spungling that's going on, right. they're gonna interact with muons in very weird ways because that's just nuclear physics. Right. So now all of a sudden you can have like safeguards. The other thing That's that was so cool was uh, uh, civil engineering. Right. Because like our our uh, our infrastructure, let's face it, is is quite old and um, yes. needs repair. Yes. And, it, you know, you could you could take these muon beams to bridges and dams and buildings and they could reveal hidden cracks, water infiltration, yeah, 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 yeah. catastrophic catastrophic failure. This I, I the, so so it's it's a whole new mode of you know we've unlocked a new type of imaging right no no exactly we we what's so interesting about this I mean the the nat the natsec implications got my my gear stream yeah I mean, it becomes very difficult to basically smuggle a dirty bomb anywhere mm -hmm. yeah um, the civil engineering one I think is so particularly for where you know this is true globally but especially in the U S where we have now legacy infrastructure that is beginning to you know, I mean, the 405 has been shut down to one lane yeah. multiple weeks in a row. Yeah, that's been point. the bane of my existence, dude. And, like, deciding how, like, what uh, civil engineering projects are most pressing mm -hmm. by having an actual data set yeah. that is not necessarily just time or, you know, citizen complaints. Yeah. You can, we things, can like but, x dude we can x-ray concrete right you know yeah 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 like that that's what it is that, we, we can now x-ray concrete and stone 